some beginner gonna uncall me a pint of trouble and I sit down and drink a double. I'm thirsty for something lighter that could get me even tighter and tighter till someday I swear I Christmas. Oh, we got Echo here. Turn our monitor off, please. Well, something's on. <laughs> it isn't this guy. <laughs> Why are you doing that? You're sitting in for Benzie? Yeah, it's a big, big, uh, big seat to fill. Well, like, it is a big seat to fill. He, he's uh, on his way. Uh, he's doing stuff with his kids. So that's good. That's, that's good. more important at the moment, but he'll be back. Yeah, well, well since he's not here we can't do the Volville thing so I'll go uh, I'll give my hellos to horizons at Silver Lake because that's where my people are since I'm oh, them. brother for Benzie got you know we got to do the thing. yeah we gotta get better help I put my website spelled it wrong on the credits but that's uh, that's besides yeah, that's the point. showbiz we you know what are you gonna do you, didn't pay, here. you didn't pay enough for that anyway yeah, yeah. <laughs> well we can mention stuff I mean the, we do have a big blueberry festival coming yeah. up uh, soon, this Saturday. <laughs> Don't tell me that. See, now what you started with me, now I gotta listen to that. Uh, anyway, uh, yeah, and that's gonna be a big thing. 200 crafts and vendors. I'm gonna be there. What are you gonna be? I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be the guy behind the camera. Oh boy. I gotta take Stay pictures. Stay out of the blueberries, will you? Oh, I, I intend to get well, into Well, they call it. them, they're also called buckle, uh, huckle, huckle, buckle, huckleberries. Buckle. Uh, yeah, huckleberries. That's a Phil Rizzuto. But there is a difference between them. Yeah. Phil Rizzuto called everyone a huckleberry. Huckleberries are a little smaller ones and they're harder yeah. than a blueberry. Well, I want, I'm going to taste all interested in that? I got to taste some on Saturday. I'm looking forward to it. Hey, look at this special guest we got yeah, tonight. Look at He's going to be on the, one of our shows. Oh! Yeah. An old buddy. And and what is your name? Uh, this week. Uh, this week. Okay. <laughs> don't give us your jail name because uh, we don't want to hear that over in this area. No, Bob Nelson. Willie Nelson. Today, Willie Nelson. That's what. Looks I like could Willie be that. Yeah. You know, um, I'm, I'm masquerading as Bob Nelson this week. Okay. He's on our tech yeah. crew. Among things. Wherever the tech crew is, I ain't no. got a clue. I just. Wherever the tech, well, there's no technical. Yeah, there's nothing technical about no. this equipment. It's more like junkyard special, yeah. <laughs> I don't even think we can sell this stuff on eBay. It's uh, anybody knows stuff about cameras like recycle. Oh. They probably pay, they we have to pay them to take it away. We can let Fritz take it down to his house and monkey with it. That's, the, that's the fees crazy. would be more than the equipment. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, it'd be crazy. So how you been doing? What do you got here? I know you got something you want to talk oh, about. Oh yeah, I got to plug something. I don't get this. Yes, to be a co-host. He brings pads of paper yeah, and everything. Well, hey, look, you got to take the opportunity. And I got to put his glasses, glasses on. on the senior moment. We got Go some. Ahead. I know Carl and his band and the station. Where they're big into fundraisers and doing for the community, and that's what we're about as a station. And Carl does so many of them and and his band, and he didn't pay me to say that, but. I have a few that I'm gonna <laughs> that I'm, I'm gonna not plug. Good either, you. One is in Westtown, New York, that's coming up on the 18th of August at two o'clock. It's called Kenstock Three, and this is a crazy fundraiser for the American Heart Association. Everything goes to them. They're gonna have live music all day, and it goes until whenever. Uh, they're gonna have Excalibur Band, who's a great party band. They've played all around in Middletown and Jersey. And they're going to have Groovy Tuesday, which is my buddies. Uh, they play oh, 60s oh, yeah, through they're the good 80s. Band, yeah. yeah, they're good. And they're going to be there. They're going to have rides and, and everything for the kids. $20 donation. And, well, they're putting some adult beverages that would be available. Remember, that's draft beer. Just find and, you. And they'll find yeah. the well, JD. will be over there. No, he does special for me. Ken Tully who runs this thing, it's his birthday too. Ken is really good. He's into uh, 
bourbon as I am. And he. Oh, usually, see, I knew that. He cracks out the maker's mark just for us, and we have a, a, a long shot together. So this is going to be here. They That's got some party. I yeah, they got to have raffles and prizes, fun for the kids. They got everything. This is really a worthwhile thing. This is the third one, and I've photographed the first two, and they're on my site, uh, photosbysac.com. If we get the tech crew to spell it right. That's extra. Know. But uh, second one, <laughs> um, this is not. It's a fundraiser of sorts. It's New Windsor Community Day, and. New Windsor gives, they put on concerts every Wednesday night in the summer, and they have wonderful uh, sponsors that donate, give them free hot dogs, ShopRite, Royal Foods, uh, there's parties a la carte, that there's a pool company, but they have a Windsor, New Windsor Community Day that's gonna be on the 25th, and it's from 10 a.m. to 9 p.m. at the Mount Airy Sports Complex. They're gonna have 100 great vendors, community groups. They're gonna have their New Windsor Idol, which has a $1,000 prize for the winner. There you go, Bob. Uh, they're gonna have Orange County Choppers there. They're gonna have uh, a 175 foot long zip line. Uh, they have a 25 foot adult cliffhanger slide, uh, a paintball shooting gallery. They got everything. They're gonna have nuts, in a blender oh, they're as good the main guys. band. Those guys are just, hey, she got it right. That's good. Lois, yeah. <laughs> and they're going to have a I whole bunch of bands. five band. bucks extra to spell it right. Yeah, I know. Uh, they're going to have bands all day. They're going to have uh, Tim Urban from American Idol is going to do a set, and he's going to be a judge. And uh, yeah. Nick Dean. What are you doing there? Taking pictures, if oh. I can get around. From X Factor is going to be there. So that's going to be a great event. So you should go to that. Uh, the last one, and then I'll get back to Carl. There's three? Yeah, and which is the reason this event is the reason I'm here today. It's Rock the Mountain, which is done on Tuxedo Ski Center. And it's a, a fundraiser for Spectrum for Living. It's for autism. For, it's an adult home that they support for the disabled. Sterling Forest, right? Yes, yeah, Sterling Forest. Yeah. I met Benzie there. And he asked me to come on the show, and, and it's all history from he there. He was skiing there. I seen him, and it was in the summertime. Yeah, in the grass. <laughs> yeah, what's that mean? <laughs> but in the, <laughs> but uh, that's going to be the 29th of September from noon to 7, and the 30th from 12 to 6. $20 is a two-day pass. You also get a $25 lift ticket. And Rob Canillo, he's got a band. They, they, they're going to be doing a lot of oh, music Oh, yeah, he's there. been on here many times. Oh, yeah, these, and a lot of people are going to be there, a lot of musicians. It's going to be a good time. It's all for a good cause. If you want to know anything about this, go to my site, hit the contact button, whip me on email, I'll get back to you. I, these guys are on Facebook, but I'll give you all the information you want to know and uh, support our local community. And I'm done. Well, you get a lot of dead air in the middle anyway. Yeah. But, uh, Right here. <laughs> they're clapping in there. They must. They're glad you're they done. I guess. Done, yeah. Man, I thought Benzie could talk. Man, oh man. I got good things to talk about though. But listen, we got the concert series in Fort Jervis. Yeah. It's on a, a Wednesday night, and uh, we got rained out when we were supposed to be there. But we're gonna be there at the 28th on a Tuesday. So they give us a different date, and we might do a big rock fest there uh, sometime in October for the town. We'll drag some kind of charity in for that too, and we're gonna do toys for kids again this year. Yeah, that was, oh, that's yeah, that a was ways good. away. December first in Norbury Hall in Ellenville. That was good. And uh, this is to be the third year. In the first year, they got 800 toys for kids. In uh, the second year, they doubled it, and this year they're gonna triple it. And we're gonna have bands come up. Maybe Bob and get a couple guys. We, and we got some other bands that are going to come up, so we're actually going to have a really big time there this year. And, and a lot of the ones that helped me before, because I don't forget the ones that have been there before, Josie Lou and oh, the, the regular your guy. Buddy, your, your brother, Mr. Phil. And <laughs> I'll bring my friend, Randy Travis. All right, bring him, man. Bring him. Bring whoever we can <laughs> well, get. Well, you heard about Randy Travis, yes, right? Yes, I said I'll have him dressed, dressed up. up. <laughs> you heard about what happened to him. Goes in the back, get I don't know what happened to him. You might as well tell me. He went in to some place to get cigarettes naked and naked. drunk. 
They arrested him. No, hey, his mugshot. brother. Yeah, he drove away. Really? He fell out yeah. of his car and I was lying on the side of the Boy, road. Boy, and that's showbiz for you. Yeah. I did play with his fiddle player, but I didn't know they were involved with all that stuff. Well, look where you ended up. You're over here. No, that's <laughs> true, man. But, you know, we got to thank uh, uh, our friends, <laughs> the ones with clothes on. We got to thank every everybody because not only are... We on all the Time Warner access stations in the Hudson Valley, which is close to a million viewers. Yeah. Uh, in September, this show is going to be in Manhattan. It's going to three channels to six million viewers. And we'd like to thank all our fans out there who's been watching and yeah. putting up with me all these years and our crews here and Bob. And, well, you weren't here then, but back when we were young. I was here for the arguments. Yeah, well, we had a lot of <laughs> arguments and fights, but that's over with. And it's positive thinking now. And uh, we're just having fun. Good fights, uh, oh yeah, it was great. Chair oh, throwing and everything. It was, it was wicked. Saturday night saloon fight. We got a shout out to Ed Keys out there. Hey, uh, Ed. He was too old to lift a chair, but he was, uh, he was here and all that crazy stuff went on. But uh, we got a singer here. Uh, yeah. Songwriter singer. He's got a lot of great tunes, and uh, I and we'll find out where he's playing and what he does. But he's a great keyboard player. I'm sure he plays other instruments. Uh, uh, because he can read. <laughs> well, that makes a big difference in music. Yeah, I got to read like C Spot Run, so I'm lost in the music stuff. But, but uh, he's going to do four songs and come over and shoot the breeze with us. Mr. Howie Reed. Thank you. My first song is instrumental. This is a poster I wrote for a church service all my fellow Bible clingers and gun lovers. This is called In the Day of the Lord. It's owed to Charles Perrican. <laughs> Thank you. Got lost in my own song. This is another song that's meant for a prelude for church service. This is called Harden Not Your Heart.
All right, thank you. I'm going to play another postlude. It's called City of God. It's going to be my new album coming out, CD. Uh, Praise the Lord with organ. Thank you. Now here's a song I always have to do on Carl's show. It's called Bring Back American Farm.
That's a good song. Thanks, Carl. I need your band to back me up on that. <laughs> That's a good tune. Well, I'll talk to you later. I know some people might want to sing that. That's what I need. That's first, a good song. Of course, I, like I get my percentage. You. You know, yeah, that, that was great, right, Bob. This is Bob. Anyway, I introduced you before. I thought it was Willie. Oh, uh, well, oh, it's Bob, Bob now. Okay. Randy, you know, <laughs> on the road again. Call me anything. Just don't call me collect. <laughs> Send a <the> check. <laughs> It's like you dial on the phone, and one of the songs we do, the, the girl keeps going like this. I says, that's obsolete. They don't do that no more. Uh, that's my band, <laughs> obsolete. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we're, we're going to call it Carl Richards and the, uh, the, I can't think of it now, but the Geriatric Squad. <laughs> we're Nobody's all getting, getting, we're younger, all getting old, man. So how you been, anyway? Good, can't complain. Are you playing anywhere? Yeah. Played last night, actually. Yeah? In the Grand Cafe in Morristown. Wow. Uh, restaurant went up the green there. I know Excellent you. Uh, food. Well, I know you know a lot of songs, but we're keeping you on originals here. But absolutely, how many songs do you actually know? Or that's a good question. All right, how many songs do you know? <laughs> that's even a better question. Yeah. Well, that leaves us two. How many songs do you know? I don't know any. I just uh, get up there. How many songs you want paid for? That's how many songs I know. <laughs> I get up there like a robot and who always hits the switch. Yeah. You know? My friend used to say there's only ten songs, and every song in the world is one of those, goes into one of those ten. Well, to like, a certain point, he's like I point. told you before, every singer and artist that writes and sings is everybody is three minutes away from fame. Everybody. That's probably true. Well, because uh, generally the old standard was every song should be three minutes when they play it on the radio. So if they don't play it, that's the three minutes. If they play it a lot, that's how you get famous because people like it. Oh, I got something two minutes. How about that? <laughs> well, if they don't play it, no matter. Put it right in the hard. box. But you know, having a two-minute song is actually de detrimental to your finances because ASCAP has to pay you by the, the the song length. No, but I'm saying the so radio <laughs> stations at one point had a standard <laughs> in the sixties. royalties, you know. In the sixties and stuff, they used to make oh, it. Yeah. You had to be three minutes until the Beatles yeah. did that one song. It's like eight or nine well, minutes. Bob Dylan did like a Rolling Stone seven yeah. minutes, and like it just blew them away. You know, but a lot of stations, exactly. believe it or not, yeah. in that time used to cut them short. They used to. Those are the bathroom break songs. Yeah. Right? But the DJ well, the DJ, the yeah, yeah, the play DJs. A long song. Like you were monkeying around with, yeah. with Cheat and Heart. Actually, Cheat and Heart was on the B side of the, the hit record. Oh, really? And the, some DJ by mistake played it. And uh, Hank Williams' daughter was telling me that's, that's how that got to be the all time hit for him was Cheat and Heart. It's a great song. And somebody, somebody did it by accident. That's a great song. Yeah. Uh, Jumble Lie was on there as a number one song on the other side. And that was the B song, Cheating Art. <laughs> so, you I remember Lalo to say that, that he almost cut their, uh, uh, Bon Jovi said he almost took out um, his big hit, you know, um, Living on a Prayer. Right. He was going to put that on the album. And he said, that, he says, what do I, that shows you what I know. Yeah. That was, that's just like, that's got to be a staple song, right? Well, yeah, when I, I talked to Tommy Cash, that's Johnny Cash's brother, uh, he was saying when, when uh, Johnny wrote that song with the horns in it, Ring of Fire, he told him, come on down here it is. I got horns in it. He goes, horns in country music? It'll never be anything. Now, this is Tommy telling me that. See, when you know that was like a number one hit with the horns in it? One never knows. Because none of the country bands ever had horns back in them days. Okay. And his songs were all on that either oh, there's a few really well if you listen to toby keith he's got 30 guys playing with him <laughs> plus they blow half the stage up and everything i went and seen him in concert i couldn't even hear him they they had dynamite going off they had the cannons just shot red white and blue uh, flag things out into the audience red solo cups yeah right in the middle of the song he's like singing all the blue it's like everybody's covered with that i was like nah that's taken away from the music or something you know it's a show now. Well, because they're selling it to the young kids. And I said, but that ain't nothing new. Our generation of rock and roll bands did all that stuff. Uh, they they that should come see you at Ellenville and they'll see some real country music. Yeah, well, it's, yeah. it's, it's a it's real change. You'll see blueberries all over him. Yeah, <laughs> all. Well, it's not dingleberries. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the name of his uh, thing, sack. Well, so. Or you say huckleberries or blueberries? Yeah, but they're, they're the same thing. It's just... One smaller and the other one. Is that the town Huckleberry? Would I have that? There is show? a place probably Huckleberry. Mayberry. Mayberry. Oh, Mayberry. Mayberry. Come on, get with the old timers. <laughs> Berry. 
Uh, well, you know what I'm doing now? Did you see on Facebook? I'm getting all them old uh, movie clips. Yeah, I see it. Yeah, it's Ben Cartwright pointing, and I just write my own caption. I can't wait to see the Carl Richards band. <laughs> They're all dead. To this. <laughs> and there is people out there, believe it or not, I go, them guys knew you? I says, oh, yeah. <laughs> it's just a picture they didn't know. No. There, there's people who believe everything. We all knew them when we were growing up. I turned them off. I didn't like them. Stuff. I turned them off. They're part of us growing up. It was know, almost like the next step yeah, from yeah. this the, the singing cowboy movies where they never ran out of bullets, nobody ever died yeah, in them movies. And Bonanza was the same way. When they got attacked by somebody, they they, they never ran out of bullets. And they could stand right out in the open. And, and the, when the Indians came down... They never got hit. It was like yeah. well, they got wounded, but the, no one ever got killed. No, they never Those got good killed. old days. Yeah, it's just, <laughs> and just then, like in the city. And like in <laughs> life, like in life, they had a great cook. Food, the food is worldwide with food. So, where yeah, are you going to be playing soon? So somebody out well, there. Well, Friday night I'm going to be at the Grand Cafe in Morristown again, and then Saturday I'll be in Bella Vida. Now is that on 46? Bella Vita's on Route 23. No, the, the other one. Okay. Is that on? 40? That's right on Washington uh, Avenue Street, oh, right off the green. I'm thinking of Rockway. Over in Rockway, there's a club over there on Route 46. It's called the Grand Cafe. That's it, then. No, no, this is in Morristown. Oh, Morristown. Right off oh, the green. Morristown, yeah. Morristown, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah the green inside. Yeah, you know, the, the, the green yeah. near yeah. the park. It's really yeah. nice, yeah. So like you're from Jersey, then? Yeah, he's a Jersey boy. Oh, yeah. Jersey boy, too. He lives in uh, Newfoundland, which is just over the hill from you. Oh, okay. And he's he's in Sussex. You're in Sussex. No, I'm in Parsippany now. Parsippany, oh, well, you're out of town. Yeah. I'm a Parsippany. Yeah. Must County boy. I used to be in Franklin. Franklin, right? Yeah. Yeah. With your pink house, was it pink? The pink house, actually, no, yeah. Yeah, I've been by your. It was a landmark. Yeah. <laughs> I was out there protesting. No, no. <laughs> no, I, I I knew where you lived. Yeah. I every once in a while I go by. I, I don't know any money, do I? No. <laughs> don't matter anyways. If you do get it, give it to him. He needs it more than me. Yeah. But uh, yeah, we it, we want you to hook up with uh, Herb here, and uh, he does gigs too. Maybe you could do something together. Yeah. You know, if all the musicians was uh, would try to team up a little bit we probably play all over the place and do things or start it's never gonna happen <laughs> well no. club owners learn how to pay more than twenty dollars when right. you got two well 50. my idea <laughs> now here's my idea is a tent revival tent revival it's not gospel but it's music okay and, and uh, i had a guy with a tent end up being a jerk but uh we <laughs> it's a long story <laughs> and they then i had are. a guy who did the sound and i would get all the local bands you go from town to town with that you tent. Do. You give the food and the, and the you give the food in the bar to the firemen or wherever you use the field, whatever you're using. But it's your tent. You get the money for the door. They get the food and soda and beer, or hot dogs, whatever they're gonna do. And fifty fifties, you let the firemen have it. And you could make your own gigs. I, I'm sick of these guys. These clubs don't want to pay nothing. Well, too bad. We'll take it where we can. Make well, your own club. Yeah. That's right. You, you should try it. Yeah. I'm, I'm trying here first. I'm going to go on the road and uh, yeah. have to get What's rescued. What's very popular <laughs> by us now is house concerts. Oh, because, yeah, I've heard that, uh, yeah. Because you get 10, 20 people, 30, 30 people at $10 a head. They usually give it to the artists. You have one or two artists. You know, you make some good money, you know? You yeah, play, but you play an You hour. know that, really, Bob, that's the, well, I'm from Newfoundland, you know, near you, and uh, uh, that's nothing new, because we used to do is get all the guys that played and have a party. You know, like DWIs now and all that? We would stay there for like three <laughs> day, three days. Nobody would drive, and everybody could sing. And everybody could sing or play or whatever, and, and there'd be one party for the whole weekend. That's originated when Woodstock went. That was that generation that would do that. They'd have parties, and then they end up with the big one. But uh, that's what we used to do. Get everybody to come. Sometimes we pass the hat. Most of the time, they pass out. But <laughs> So you're yeah, not going to remember something like that myself. Yeah. <laughs> I figured that. I could see you crashing into your piano and stuff. Sink, actually. You know, so. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we're, ha we're having a lot of fun. This will be aired over in, in all the access stations, and, and we'll promote you as much as we can. And uh, maybe you two guys can tie up, and if he's got the time and stuff, he'll come out to some of your shows. Play the big tent. 
Yeah, the big yeah, tent. I think that's yeah. a great idea myself. I think so too. You ought to try it around here first. I had the tents, and then the guy with the tents ended up being something else. You know, well, it's got to be somebody else with a tent. It was like one of these things. You put the tent up, and he goes, "I own the tent. I'm in charge of everything." Well, after the guys booking the bands and yeah, now <laughs> they're pretty expensive, gonna... those tents. I understand. Well, where are you going to put the tents? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Where are you going to put the tents? You go to all the fire companies. Oh, okay. Or to, well, a, these, or to a town. They always have these celebrations all the time. Right now, yeah. yeah. Right now is a good time for the, the towns are all looking for concert series in the parks and stuff. You go there. You got to go to the town hall and you approach them and you say, "Listen, I, I want to put a tent revival on Saturday this date. Uh, can we have the field?" Well, West Murphy, you just go to the town and rent Bubbling Springs, thirty bucks, and you got the gazebo. You don't even have to bring the tent. Yeah, but that's somebody else is in charge there. That I don't like that. Nice. Because you're in, you're in, it's like going to. Uh, are we ever in charge of anything? Yeah, <laughs> we are. All, that's one of us. Ask my, <laughs> ask my wife. <laughs> She'll tell you the truth. That answers the question. See, see, folks. <laughs> yeah, we got a lot of new plans for the station, right, Bob? Big plans. It's all in the works right now, and uh, hopefully everything we're we're going to come to a little money here and help the station out and. Uh, better equipment, new equipment, and we got a telethon in sometime in October, which we always just do for the heck of it. You like to come up and sing in our telethon? Sure. Uh, we have food and everything all day long, and get to do a few songs. And Jerry Lewis gonna be here? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> well, I can't knock Jerry because he's he's under a contract with me. So. <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen. Where do we get? He he was on the Jimmy Kimball show. Got fourteen hundred dollars to do one song. Paid for his flight out. Hotel Don't know, Mr. Phil. Yeah. Well, he thinks he's Jerry Lewis. And uh, I, I had to send arrangements out to uh, Jimmy Kimball's band, and they said to me, I said, well, he, he looks a little bit like Jerry Lewis and sings like Kermit the Frog. And the guy says, Don't insult Kermit. <laughs> so, <laughs> but they like him because he's a novelty act, where they won't take you and me and Bob because we're not on a major label. That's the key with the major label. You can't get on any major network. TV. Oh, I'm more major than that labels. Oh, there is. <laughs> the Money Men are still the labels. So. Epic Records is still kicking. But uh, yeah, they make money on all of us people. But we brought you here to play. We got a new show going to be coming out soon. I can't mention it, and uh, I think you're going to really, really like it. Especially with this guy in here eating popcorn. So uh, you want to do uh, four more songs? Four more songs. Up? Anything you want to say to anybody before we uh, trip you up? Hi, Ma. <laughs> <laughs> thanks for coming up. I ain't seen oh, you. My in a pleasure. Thanks for having me. Call. All right. No, that's a beautiful life in Italian. You know, uh, my guitar player, he, he went with a swing band one time. He told me he could read music, but he couldn't. Just, <laughs> just to play his first song, he knew right away. <laughs> Because playing with a live band, you're always looking at it. You can't take your eyes off the sheet when you're playing with a with a big swing band, because you got to play it just like the record, and you never see the audience. Because my one partner with Red Publishing, he uh, said he, he wanted to come ad lib with us on one of our gigs because we really ad lib everything, and because uh, he was tired of just sitting with a thing in front of him, never seeing the audience or nothing, just did song for song. No interaction. Yeah. No fun. I says, ah, burn them things. Let's get to get out with the people. You guys have more fun with your band. Yeah, you get, we want fun. We want to have fun. Get yeah. that crowd kicking. They'll be dancing. They'll be doing everything on Saturday with that Ellen built. Thing. Oh yeah. Gotta get them out there. I can't believe they can't memorize three chords. I don't know. <laughs> they get What's them mixed a chord? Up. That's what we want to know. Yeah. But uh, we we got a very talented guy here, and I'm glad to see him after all these years. He he still looks sort of young, but I uh, know <laughs> he's a good guy. And uh, very talented, he plays all over, and we'll put his number on there if you just want to hire him for anything. And, and uh, he can actually read music. Now that's out of my loop, but uh, uh, Bob can. Well, maybe it's out of Bob's. Do you Bob read? I can read books, but I can't read music. Oh. Well, if Paul doesn't have to, why should I? Well. You make a good career out of it. <laughs> two different things. Anyway, <laughs> we're gonna go right now to how you read. Let's go. <laughs> This song here is for uh, 
TV show that I thought of. It's called Friends Are the Greatest. It's supposed to be a kid's TV show about friends helping friends getting through like an anti-bullying type of theme. So um, if anybody wants to produce a TV show, please <laughs> contact me. <laughs> friends Are the Greatest. <laughs> Right, Calvin? <laughs> Santo. Give us a sound. It's my friend Santo over there. Calvin. OK, I'm going to play an instrumental for you right now. This is called, uh, I've got to write down so I can remember them all. A rain Down. Should be somewhere in here. Thank you. I think this is another piano song. Uh, 
God, can you feel me? me laugh. All right, this is called uh, We Thank You, Lord.
peace be with you. Now, is that the fourth song? Am I done or? I'm actually going to play a, a Thanksgiving song, aren't we? Okay. <laughs> Make me laugh. All right, this is called uh, We Thank You, Lord. Thank you. 